Welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. So another pole barn house build. Just got back from the uh, lumber store and have good news to share. So I just picked up quite a few 2x6 12 footers and I did not need 12 footers. That is the key right now. Now some of these are not uh, not very good lumber but the surprising thing is I had the uh, lumber store throw in a few extra pieces that I didn't pay for just to kind of make up for some of that instead of us having to dig through an entire stack to try to find good straight lumber, which I've been quite lucky with 2x6s and 2x8s coming out relatively straight. So why did I wind up with a bunch of 12-footers when I only needed about half of what you see right there, 12s, the rest I needed 10-footers. So I'm calling around, I'm getting uh, lumber prices because I'm hearing that it's dropping. So I called probably my most popular lumber store that I go to. And I asked, what are your two by six by 10 footers? Um, Cause that's what I need for top and bottom plates up there with very little waste. Works out perfect. I'd rather not have any waste if I don't have to. So he tells me $14 and something. Okay, eh, that doesn't sound great, but I've heard of worse lumber prices. I said, well, how much are your 12 footers? That's where it gets interesting. He tells me they're $11. So the 12 footers are several dollars cheaper than the 10 footers. I said, well, I guess I'm going to be going with 12-footers and just going to have some extra left over to use somewhere else. But the good news is that's actually dropped quite a bit. $11, yes, that's still high. Pre-COVID, that would have been ridiculous. I think these boards were $8 or $9. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But I've seen them go up over $20 recently. So that is a dramatic drop in dimensional lumber. I went ahead and priced out some OSB while I was on the phone with him in plywood. Oh, it's still absolutely through the roof here, but I'm watching some YouTube channels that are telling me around the country, OSB and plywood is dropping dramatically. So it needs to hurry up and happen here because right now, 7 16 OSB is still $54.99, $55 a sheet. That is, that's absurd. Pre-COVID, yeah, I was seeing that at big box stores for like, I think $11 a sheet or something. So this is just still ridiculous. But I thought I'd share that with you. Dimensional lumber is dropping. But if you remember just a couple months ago, I like to follow stocks and I was on uh, following one of the head guys on the lumber exchange. He said they already predicted due to a slowdown in building for lumber prices to drop 30 plus percent over the next few months. They expected demand to pick up and they expect lumber prices to go right back up next year where they are now. So if you're needing lumber, I'd be watching it over the next couple months and maybe buying that because they're expecting demand to come back once prices drop and they're saying they're going to have a supply issue. I'm not buying that. Let me get on my soapbox for one second. I love chatting with you guys, but I'm just trying to figure out. Nobody knows why lumber is so high. I'm gonna share something with you I just discovered, and then we're gonna get to work. So here is all the OSB that I've been putting up in the attic for the subfloor here. Well, I guess it's gonna be the actual floor, for some areas because what you see is what you get over here it will be a subfloor because we are going to build a loft right there but that's not what we're up here for so i've talked with a lot of people hardware stores everything uh, now that i've been building a house i'm interested in it where is the increase in lumber going a lot of my friends actually own land fa family land they do uh logging and lumber lumber trees they say they're not really getting much of a markup i know a lot of loggers that drive the trucks that work in the fields they say they're not getting paid any extra. I talk to the hardware stores. They're saying, hey, we're raising our prices because it's getting raised to us. So the one place I haven't been able to talk to is the lumber yards. And I've got, I'm really starting to wonder if we're getting gouged. Check this out. All right, so here is the OSB that I've been laying down. And I just discovered something the other day. It is required for them to stamp when this was manufactured. November the 7th, 2020. Hold up, for real? So maybe some of y'all that work at lumber mills, I think there's been a couple of subscribers that actually make OSB. Please let me know, does this have to sit for any length of time, cure, do anything after it's made? So my mind got to racing. 2020, I didn't buy this stuff nowhere near 2020, but supposedly there's a supply issue. So I went um, back and looked at the video. The day that I bought this was April 1st, 2021 and there wasn't much in Lowe's at the time. We were actually having an extremely hard time getting it. You remember me telling you that? Everybody was sold out, couldn't get any. They had just got this stack in. So it was made November 2020 and just showed up right around April 1st, 2021. 
either this stuff has to really sit in a warehouse, has to kiln dry, cure for months, for months and months, or I'm wondering if this stuff is getting held up somewhere to help drive the price up. I don't like, I don't like talking about that kind of stuff, you know, spreading rumors and all, but I'm really curious to know y'all's thoughts on that. That kind of threw me for a loop to see some stuff that was over five months old from whenever I bought it, but supposedly they just got it in and there's this major shortage. So I thought that was interesting to note. I'm curious to know if this stuff is ready the day that it's made. If it is, that means it's set somewhere for quite a while and I'm very curious. All right, enough yakking. Stove walls, that's what we're about doing. I've just got the lumber that I need. We've only got one wall left to do over here as far as building and putting up. So let's go ahead and knock that out. Then we're gonna move over to this side. All we have is three full walls over there. We can make good progress. Now it's late in the day, I've had other things to do. So this video may go over two days, but these are relatively easy walls to do. doing right here is taking my long square flipping it over the edge now that my base plate's down and I can see the studs where they're at. Now I don't have to pull a tape measure, I don't have to mark 16 inch on center studs because this goes almost to them. I put a mark right on here, transfer it between my bottom and top plate. It makes measurements really quick because well I don't have to do it. That's a thick resin filled piece of pine right there. That's all right, we'll get the bigger persuasion stick.
All right, well, the attic walls are now complete. So I've got a call out to the inspector. I'm gonna talk with him tomorrow to kind of double check on my plan moving forward before I start ripping plastic off and trying to put up OSB outside sheeting with all these thunderstorm chances every day. I need to know that he's okay if I, you know, cover it right up, the nail patterns, everything. Cause I hate to tie back everything, um, tape the seams, which I'm gonna do, that's something extra and have to rip all that off because that's a pretty good bit of money. And it's a lot of work too. So I'm waiting to hear back on that. Otherwise I may have to wait for a much better weather window. My gut says I'm gonna be able to go ahead and do that. There's other houses being built in my area. So I'm hoping he's gonna be over here daily or almost daily for inspections anyways and can swing by, check the work that I've done, sign off on that at least and uh, allow me to go ahead. But I just don't know how it's gonna work out. We're gonna find out soon enough. So here it is, walls are done. I've still got some little stuff to come up here and do, nailing the flooring down, nailing a few other things. Um, we have to uh, lag bolt those walls in, so I guess they're technically not done. We'll have another little finish up video. And then I've also got to look at how the sheathing is gonna attach to the roof over here on at least this end. I'll get all the other roofs figured out later, but I have to do that one before I start sheathing next week. So a couple little minor things to do there along with a few other things up my sleeve that we'll include on the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll catch you later.